Hey folks, Jeff Rusky here at the New Jacob Workshop. Uh, for me, it's Father's Day. So for all you dads out there, happy Father's Day and thank you for all you do for your kids. Um, this Father's Day, my children are not with me. They're with their mother. Um, so had to try to sleep in this morning. Didn't really sleep at all. Um, and this lighting is terrible. Let me turn my hat around here because you don't want to see my hair. There we go. Um, fix that again. There we go. Um, yeah, so it's Father's Day. Uh, my kids are with her mother, um, so um, I was hoping to sleep in today. Did not get the chance to do so because I got woken up around 2 a.m. by one of our animals and then just couldn't fall asleep for the rest of the day. So I'm only working on a couple hours of sleep here. Um, but while I was sitting there for hours upon hours trying to fall asleep, finally around noon I gave up. <laughs> um, while I was sitting there um, trying to go to bed, um, you know, that's when I get weird ideas popping in my head. Um, and uh, so I thought, I'm really into finding new and unique hammers and stuff like that. And um, I've made my own, for example, this is my mallet that I use and it's gotten some well love over the years. Um, I've done, as you know, plenty of hatchets. Um, I've made this mallet up on the lathe. Um, you know, I'm at tag sales. I buy things like this small little ball peen, um, things like that. Um, so in addition to all the other tools and stuff, I, love, I also love hammers. And I was thinking, I've never seen one made out of like galvanized pipe. So what I do, went and bought three and a quarter by 10 inch piece of galvanized pipe. I bought three and a quarter inch T. I bought three end caps. Two, for those counting at home. And three. And I actually should have two of these. Not sure what the other one is, I need to find it. Probably in my car somewhere. Anyways, I'm gonna take these. We're gonna make a little flacker out of some stuff you can find. Oh, here's, now there's one of them. Oh, this is the nipple to connect the T's here to the end caps. So you have that. Come on. You know what, you wanna get on there, come on. Try a different one. Oh, oh, oh. I do have a pipe wrench around here somewhere, but this universal stripper will do. Nice and tight. There we go. Obviously, I'll probably come through here with some thread lock to make sure that these stay put. Uh, I really don't think they're going to go anywhere too much. They're on there pretty good. So there's almost my full thwacker. Made from galvanized pipe for a few bucks from the hardware store. It's got some heft to it. I don't know how much it weighs, uh, but it's a few pounds. Um, so yeah, there is my three quarter inch, 10 inch long, well, 11 inches with this, um, galvanized thwacker. Um, I'm going to try and find that other part. And hopefully I do. Thanks. Oh, quick update. Found it. It was on the bench behind me. So let's finish this thing off, shall we? Ah, there we go. The new janky workshop slash Varro Industries galvanized thwacker. It thwacks. See? Thwacks. Packer. Make your own. Enjoy.